Hi there, Bob here from Insidium. This is Top Tip Tuesday. So on today's video, we're going to be using NX Question to create this really nice spawning system which gets particles to spawn networks of other particles within a volume of scene geometry. So lots to squeeze in on this one. Let's get that clock started and we'll begin. In our scene, we have this text primitive with the text spline set to S, and that's in an XP join object. And we've put an XP collider tag on there with a normal set to inside. So we're going to trap particles inside, and we've got 35% friction. So we want to emit from this. Let's go to Insidium X Particles Emitter. And in the object tab, we want the emitter shape to be object mode. We'll drag in our join. We want to emit from the object volume. And in the emission tab, Let's put it on shot. We don't need many to start with. Let's say 12 particles with zero speed, everything else default. So now if we hit play, yeah, we've got our particles. Okay, so now we want to spawn and we'll do a question for that. Let's go to Insidium X Particles Nexus and bring in a question. We'll add a new question and we want to do a neighbor search. We want every particle to search within a radius of itself to see how many other particles it's got. So to do that, we do if particle neighbors and we want to say quite a small distance just four centimeters if there are less than nine particles within this then do something and the something we want to do is to spawn so let's do an action set the action to spawn and we want it the new particle to spawn close to the parent let's just put 0.2 distance We'll have a new spawning emitter, which creates a new emitter in our hierarchy here. We don't want to inherit the parent settings. We'll give it its own settings. Let's do a speed of 25, radius of 1. Now when we hit play, if the question is answered, yes, we're getting spawned particles. Now we want to slow these down over time. So let's go to Insidium, X Particles Nexus, and bring in an NX speed. We're going to set this to incremental, but put it on minus 50 and negative so it basically gets slower we can put a bit of variation on that as well so now they'll be born with that speed but then slow down and come to a stop okay so now we want to do another question which asks a neighbor search of all of the particles the blue and the yellow the first one just asks the blue so to do that we'll go to our next question and hit control click on there to deselect it we'll add a new question put this one below and this one's going to be if the particle neighbors going to be a slightly larger search area is less than and we need to have a much bigger amount here because there's so many more particles in the scene now maybe 270 then do something and what you'll be doing to, to adjust your networking spawning effect is pushing and pulling these two amounts to get different spawn shapes so now we've got that we want to spawn from these as well so let's do an action set it to spawn put the distance on 0.2 and we can make this one pretty much the same we'll add a new spawning emitter so now we've got two spawning emitters we'll deselect inherent parent properties speed was 25 radius one and let's just change this color so we can track the two different spawns so now we should have yellow and purple one spawning yet yeah. and they're both kind of feeding each other and we're getting this really cool kind of network of spawning particles inside our object volume brilliant so now what we want to do is play around with the size of these particles so in both of these spawns we're going to now put the radius of the spawn particles to zero so they're born with no radius at all let's do it on this one as well and then let's in our two spawning emitters let's go to the display tab and change the editor display mode to one that that displays the radius circles filled for example so now if we hit play we're not going to see any because they've got no radius they are there but we're going to now scale them up with a modifier let's go to insidium x particles nexus and go to nx scale we're going to change value over time yet yeah by a smaller amount so they grow a bit more slowly let's put maybe five percent variation but we want to clamp their um, size within this range so we've got clamp to radius limit on we've got clamp within range on and we'll put the maximum at one centimeter so they'll clamp they'll grow up from nothing and clamp anywhere between those two radius amounts and there we're getting this cool look now we have got particles born with a radius of zero the spawn is able to get them to spawn the new ones outside of the volume, which is causing us a problem. We need to kill these. So let's do another question to do that. We'll 
simply select that go to question and this one we need to ask a question about this object and that is a scene or a document question so we need to go to if category document the data we want is object distance question and we want to ask not about the position but the volume of that object let's drag in the object that we want to ask the question about and we want to say if the particles are outside the volume kill them and we do that by greater than zero is outside the volume less than zero is inside the volume so greater than zero and then action and we want to kill particles so now even if they are spawned outside of that volume they can't um, they'll just be killed okay so this could do us we could just have this nice networking effect of these particles let's just add a little bit of color nexus color we'll add a gradient parameter let's load a preset something like this purple magenta one map it to age we could perhaps just bring these knots in slightly so then we're going to get this nice effect of our particles being born in these networks and they're kind of changing color and aging over time and they're gradually filling up um, the inside of our volume so that's a nice effect but we can get a bit of movement in here quickly by adding some movement uh, from a force let's go to insidium x particles nexus and add an nx push set it to particle radius and now this is going to push these particles apart, which is going to add some movement, which will change the way in which they're spawned. Um, and it'll change that spawning pattern, which is cool as they kind of interact with each other. And we can also add, look, let's add some turbulence, nexus turbulence. Let's put this on Voronoi's, maybe a strength of 10. And this is going to really change the sim, and it's going to make it feel like almost a fluid-like motion of particles. As they're spawned, they're being moved around, which is changing that neighbor search, which is then spawning more. And we're getting this really cool effect in our viewport. I'm a big fan of this look. And if you wish, you can change. Now we've got speed in there. We could change that color mode and set this to uh, speed rather than age and then we're going to get very different kind of coloration and we can then move this way out again and we're getting this really cool almost fluid like movement of particles contained within our volume using those questions and these pretty simple coloring tricks